This is Mrs. Landberg, and the lesson that we are learning this week is about rounding whole numbers. So if you will turn to page 33 in your math book, I'm going to guide you through some problems to help you learn about rounding whole numbers. The first thing is I want to make sure that you all have something where you have written down our four steps for solving word problems, because in fourth grade we solve tons of word problems. So these questions are what we are going to use to solve every problem that we have um, as we work through things together um, for online learning. So you should have a pencil in your math book on page 33. Our first question here. A toothpaste company surveys 36,219 customers about their favorite toothpaste flavor. The data is used to help the company decide what flavors to continue making. To the nearest thousand, about how many customers does the company survey? So the first thing we want to do is we want to ask ourselves, what is this problem about? Like, what is this question asking us? If I covered up the numbers and I did not think about those at all, what is this talking about? Well, it's talking about a toothpaste company, so I'm going to underline toothpaste company, and it's talking about a survey they did of their customers about their favorite toothpaste flavor. So we're thinking about a toothpaste company conducting a survey about um, their customers favorite toothpaste flavor. So that's what we're talking about. Now, what information in this problem is important? This is almost always going to be the numbers. So we have here 36,219, because that's how many customers. And then let's see if there's anything else. The data is used to help the company decide what flavors to continue making. To the nearest thousand, ooh, that's important because it's telling us to where. So it's the nearest thousand. About how many customers does the company survey? Okay. Now we're asking ourselves, what am I trying to find out? We're trying to find out how many customers does the company survey? Okay. So we're trying to find out how many to the nearest thousand does the company survey. Now our last one is, can I draw a model to help me solve this problem? And the answer is almost always yes. If you have the place value chart that was came with your manila folder, it's laminated and on one side it's a place value chart and on the other side it's a number line, you may use that instead of drawing. If you don't have that, then let's go ahead and draw. So I'm going to make a place value chart. I'm going to make sure I understand. I'm going to make a long rectangle here. And then at the top of my rectangle, I'm going to start with ones, then tens, hundreds. thousands, ten thousands. Okay, now I'm going to take my number here and I'm going to put it in my place value chart. Thirty, got to get a different pin here, that one's not working very well. Thirty six thousand two hundred nineteen. Okay, now we have that in our place value chart. What is this asking us to do? It's asking us to round. So when we're rounding, we always need to think about the rounding mountain, um, or some people call it the rounding coaster. So it's kind of like this, 
And if you write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so if you're riding a roller coaster and your roller coaster starts right here, and then it's starting to go up the mountain. Any of these numbers right here, one through four, if the roller coaster does not quite get to the top, it's probably gonna roll back down the mountain, okay? But if that front car of the roller coaster peaks over this mountain, it has enough inertia, enough force, that it is just going to keep on going. So if it makes it up there, then that roller coaster is going to fall, and it's going to, all the cars are going to follow and go down the mountain. So if the number that we're rounding is 0 to 4, we round down to 0. If the number is five or more, we're gonna round up to 10, okay? So it is asking us to round to the nearest thousand. So we find the number in the thousand place and we underline the number in the thousands place. Then now that we know that, we are going to look at the number next door. So I'm gonna put a door around this next number. When I look next door, does the neighbor tell me to round up or does the neighbor tell me to round down? That's where we use our rounding roller coaster. A two is right here. So if the front of the roller coaster only makes it to the two, it's going to round down. So that means that the six stays the same. It does not change. So that means that it stays right here. Then all of the numbers behind it become zeros and any numbers in front of it stay the same. So our answer becomes 36,000. So the question was how many customers does the company survey? And the answer is 36,000, but it's not just 36,000, it's 36,000 customers because you have to make sure to use that label to label your answer. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the page here. Now, if we were going to put 30, if we were going to put that number on a number line, this is what it would look like, okay? So we've got 36,000 here, 36,500 is in the middle, and 37,000 is over here. Th since this has a 500 in the back, that tells me that each one of these marks probably represents a 500. So this would be, I'm sorry, that means that this represents 100, excuse me. So that means this is 36,100, 36,200, 36,300, but that's too big. Our number is 36,219. So 36,100, 36,200. But our number is not exactly 36,200. It's a little bit more than that. So I'm gonna write just a little bit in front of that for 36,000. 219. So that is where it would go. So then our question right here is between which two thousands is the number 36,219? Write both numbers of thousands as numerals. Numerals is a way to say number name form or standard form. Okay, so the first one we would go right here and we know the answer is 36,000. But as we're going this way, a lot of people will want to stop right here. But this is not rounded to the thousands. This is rounded to the hundreds. So we have to keep going over to this one, which is 37, 
thousand. Then our next question is, is 36,219 closer to 36,000 or 37,000? Well, if we look over here, the dot, it's only got a couple of spots until we get to 36,000, but we have quite a bit of ways to go to get to 37,000. So the answer would be 36,000. Okay. The rule for rounding numbers states that if a number is exactly halfway between, round up. What is exactly halfway? Exactly halfway is that 5, okay? And it says round up. So what is 36,500 rounded to the nearest thousand? So if we're rounding to the thousand, I'm going to use this one up here. So I'm rounding to the thousand, so I underline my thousands place. I'm putting a door next to my neighbor because that's who tells us. Five tells us to go up. So that means his neighbor right here, the one that we underline, has to go up. And so it would go up to seven. Then all of the numbers behind become zero. And the numbers in front would stay the same. Oop, sorry. One more zero. So it's 37,000. If you round 36,500 to the nearest thousand, it's 30. 7,000. Okay. Now let's go ahead and turn to page 37. In the next video, we will solve um, the problem on page 37. So you will need to watch that one next. It's going to be lesson two.